Hello friends, I'm a detective cameraman. The legendary 75th episode has finally come out in which for the first time agents fight with their sworn enemies. And it shocked me because this is the first time we've seen this. And the episode itself is filled with a lot of details. A new secret agent, a toilet girl and also Astro Dog. And much more awaits you today before the video starts. Like and subscribe to the channel and of course write a kind comment to promote the video and we begin. Events begin in the city. In episode 74, we already saw a smooth transition to a new location from Alpha Hills to the city. Here, we already have a full-fledged transition. The Astro Carrier destroys everything in its path. The Alliance ships try to destroy it, but it is protected by a shield. The main part of the ships flies away, but the Astro Carrier lives up to its name and releases several Astro Toilets, which very quickly destroy helicopter cameras. After this horror, you can see that same legendary table here. Who forgot this is the table with the latest spoilers? This is also the table on which Melo's 07 always sat. But so far I don't see anything remarkable in it. But at the beginning of the episode you can see a silhouette standing and watching everything. Moreover, later this silhouette disappears, which means someone was definitely standing there. Most likely this is a secret agent who is observing these terrible events. Well, the last detail at the beginning of the episode is that the Astro Carrier uses the same shield as the Juggernaut. This means that the Astro Juggernaut does not have a unique ability, and a large number of Astros have this ability. The agents have fallen morally, their brothers are being destroyed before their eyes. Among the characters we see here is the same smoking agent. Because of his headdress you called him the Frenchman, so we will continue to call him that. The other agents are ordinary, but our cameraman POV is the agent in the yellow shirt with a blue tie from the previous spoiler. He notices another explosion and begins to look in its direction. He sees a squad of toilets who are cheerfully running forward to attack, but then two Astors appear, who are very happy to meet you. They use some kind of technology on the eye, most likely to help them aim better. It's strange though, the toilets are right in front of them. They kill all the toilets, and the agent moves back a little. Looking a little closer, he notices how the little Astro Juggernaut is destroying the toilets, and then notices us. All agents prepare for battle and retreat back. It's strange to wait for him from the main entrance, because he's not so stupid, and goes through the other one and with an explosion. Along the way, killing one of the agents using the claws on his right hand. He then uses his shield and rams the cameramans at high speed. The big cameraman loads the rocket launcher, but does not have time to fire because Astra kills him. And quite cruelly, he takes his camera and breaks it off from his body. Our agent attacks him with a cannon, but he defends himself with a shield and then attacks back. He comes closer to finish us off, but the toilet on which the Frenchman is sitting is attacked by Astra, but he, a little lost, manages to kill one of the toilets, after which the explosive toilet jumps on him and spills acid on him. The Gigonaut continues to attack, but misses, and the agent throws a grenade right into the toilet. He rams him, but the hybrid is already jumping on top of Gigonaut's head. Moreover, this is a female hybrid. She attacks him, but he repels her, after which all the survivors begin to attack the Gigonaut. Due to the damage done to his technique, it explodes, and the female hybrid impales his head with her spikes, and Astra Juggernaut is completely defeated. In general, I am not surprised that the toilet is collaborating with the Alliance. After all, in previous discussions I said that they need to unite very quickly in order to cope with the enemy. In war, all methods are good, and this is one of them. The little agents realize that they cannot cope and die in batches, so they decide to team up with the toilets. Well, those in general are not against it, and they themselves want unification. We saw that Astro doesn't even bother with them and quickly destroys them, but no one wants to die. Of course, everything is very colourful. In previous episodes, they hated each other, but here they have to fight together. Something else interesting is the emergence of a female hybrid. We don't often see women in toilets, but here it's actually a hybrid woman. A pretty crazy detail is that this Astro Toilet is actually an animal. He has a tail and also a head similar to a dog or cat. We will discuss this in more detail later, because his mother will arrive. The agent looks at the Frenchman and the toilet, who stand together as if nothing had happened. All the agents hear something moving and approaching from above. Pov Cameraman looks at the female hybrid. She shows quietly. Behind her is the cannon of a small Gigonaut. She took it with her. Let's continue the trend where you name the characters. Name this female hybrid in the comments. Which name for her is best for you? It will be interesting to read. Now our new squad is moving out together. 
But then Astra Jiggernaut arrives. With the words, I see you, through the walls, he breaks through it. But then he notices the little Astra Juggernaut, who died. He says, my baby, you will pay. Our cameraman begins to run away as fast as he can. Now the speculation that Astra Jiggernaut is a cat was justified. After all, he even has a child. Perhaps the Astro under the mask also has a dog or a cat. Or a crazy experiment was carried out at the Astro toilets on the base. Perhaps the Astro Jiggernaut was the main one in this experiment and created his own kind. We are starting to learn more and more strange things about Astro toilets. I definitely didn't expect to see a dog. And by the way, at the moment of his appearance, he says, I see you through the walls, but most likely he really sees them. And his mask gives him such abilities. After the agent escapes, the hybrid closes the hole in the wall and flies away with the agent. But Jiggernaut still finds them and covers them with a hail of debris. Although there is nothing to be afraid of, because we are being saved, and our squad remained completely unharmed, and the Frenchman shared a cigarette with the toilet. This is real friendship between a toilet and a robot. Cameraman looks at the female hybrid and shows alike. This is where it ends. At this moment, by the way, there is a chair, as well as some kind of silhouette that is sitting in the car. There was no way the chair could teleport across the entire area, so I think it was the work of a secret agent who was actually sitting in the car. Moreover, we don't see his face. It would be strange to hide the face of Mr. Boom, who has long shown himself. We don't see a green glow either. It looks like a new secret agent has appeared before us. What he wants is not yet clear, but there is a chance that this is an ordinary secret agent, Mr. Boom. He just does not use the glow so that the astro toilets do not notice him. Overall, I really enjoyed the episode. Moreover, we saw a very key point. This was the unification of the alliance with toilets. Of course, this is not an official association yet. Small agents simply understand that they cannot cope. A full-fledged unification will occur when the main ones agree on something. For example, there will be a dialogue between Titans and G-Man, during which the alliance will officially unite with the toilets. But for now, this is the first step towards uniting against a very terrible enemy. Theorizing about what will happen next would be quite strange, since there are so many storylines that could be continued in episode 76. Perhaps I will record a separate video about this, but we have storylines with the cameraman Titan, with other Titan speaker and TV Titan, storyline with G-Man who went somewhere perhaps to gather in Titan, and of course our agents who are now hiding in the city from Astro Toilets. Of course, you can still remember the storylines, but these are the main ones. Mr. Boom has decided not to return to these storylines for now, but I think it will be strange to drag out several episodes with whether the cameraman Titan died or not. Although perhaps the next episode will continue this one and show more and more Astro Toilets, and at the same time revealing this race. After all, we literally know very little about them. They are alien invaders, in whose ranks there are even animals. What these toilets hide is anyone's guess. I advise you to subscribe to this channel so as not to miss anything. Thank you all for watching. Bye bye everyone.